World Cup 2022. Yep. It's a good one. <laughs> going into it and did it change during because it goes so differently from yeah it definitely changed so before world cup we had a couple meetings with our race team which you know some of these guys have been with us for 10 or 12 plus years i do think it's important that people know that um, at a basic level our race team is not what most might think that these guys all work here at speed factory and you know wrench on these cars 24 7. Uh, with the exception of us owners our race team is a group of friends that have been with us on this journey for 10 to 12 plus years before the inception of the original Outlaw build. Each of these guys has had, or still has, their own high performance turbo Honda build, which without a doubt plays a huge role in their understanding of and adds quite a bit of value to our race team. Um, again, these are not employees of Speed Factory. These are a group of very passionate guys with families and what you would call, you know, day jobs. Um, we have uh, a truck driver, we have uh, a guy that works at the city's water treatment plant, we have a guy that works for the railroad, uh, a rep for CNC cutting tools, a sheet metal worker, a uh, quality engineer at an aerospace machine shop, um, a fleet analyst for the city of Tacoma. So you have this super diverse group of guys um, that we have the pleasure of working with and we have had for, like I said, 10 to 12 years. So. We've overcome many different situations together and we have had a lot of success and a lot of failures together. So um, our race team just has this incredible dynamic and what this group has accomplished is uh, nothing short of amazing. All these people are great at knowing the whole cars, but the difference is this year is that, you know, we started with, okay, what do we even want to do at World Cup? So we offered a clear vision for everybody to know, hey, are we going to win? Are we going to break records? Uh, in this case, we wanted to do both, right? Um, that would be the best case scenario for everybody, but um, we actually sat down and figured out what would it take for this to actually be possible. That created a desire for everybody to achieve these goals, and then we delegated the tasks appropriately to everybody. We had checklists at the track, hey, is this done, is this done, is this done on all the cars? And I think that was uh, instrumental in our success. Yeah, and then, I mean, obviously last year, like you said, didn't uh, go as planned, but as far as both cars, you know going through the paces and qualifying and then eliminations like how did it feel to see jason just you know he didn't you know, drive all year jason is one hell of a driver and um especially for how much seat time he didn't have last year um uh, he just continues to impress us so um for him to go around like he did um you know Respectfully, our team isn't necessarily known for going rounds, right? We're known as the guys that break the record, and that's what we do. Um, if we were in the business of turning our cars down, people wouldn't know who we are because we wouldn't be out there breaking records. So it's kind of a, a catch-22. You want to put the record time on the board, but that might mean you don't go rounds. So between uh, James and Cole and Jason, everybody just having going through the, all the data logs after each pass, going through the tune-ups, um, that was kind of... Uh, it was honestly amazing. As soon as we got into eliminations, Jason won. James won his round. Jason's car's back. Oh, James won his too. So at that moment, I don't know that I've ever felt that kind of, I feel like it was healthy stress, but it it was really good, you know, because everybody has adrenaline going because your cars are in the finals at World Cup, you know, yeah. but um, going rounds, going rounds. And it was just, yeah, it was an amazing feeling, but uh, an incredible amount of stress. But you know, our, our whole team, uh, everybody held it together. Um, you know, we we had transparent and direct communication, and that's one of the things we talked about at our meeting the day of the race, is to make sure this is the only way that's gonna happen is that everybody communicates properly. So, um, I mean, yeah, everything really fell into place. And although it was still stressful, just because as you go through eliminations, the timeline gets shorter before you gotta go back up. So, yeah, it was a lot, but well, yeah, <laughs> yeah I mean, this is also another World Cup I'll never forget, so. I mean, talking about time between rounds getting shorter and it wasn't like anything, like nothing didn't go wrong. You know, first round, James sticks about. <coughs> Luckily, because of the delays earlier, you get 
more time allotted to even fix that issue and then Jason blows turbo you know like yeah you know so uh, that's another very good point is that um, another thing attributing to the success here and and yeah that's super stressful you know but thank God for our sponsors and Matt our sales manager up front Megan everybody dealing with our sponsors you know specifically like Turbo Smart, Marty and the team there, they really, we had wastegate trouble all season until World Cup, basically. They came up with a solution for us. Super thankful for that, you know, and like my dad always says, if it wasn't for the last minute, nothing would get done, right? So Precision Turbo, making sure we had everything we needed. Apex Turbo, everybody offering the support. And man, talk about getting things in the 11th hour, four piston, always coming through with the cylinder heads that we need. So, you know, there's a lot more to it than meets the eye to make uh, a race team successful. We're all great here at working on cars and the motorsports part of it, but we're not necessarily the best at the organization and the business stuff, which is when um, our managing director, Megan, really came in clutch uh, as far as World Cup finals, especially this year. You know, she was there with us, helping us make these lists, delegate tasks, providing us constructive criticism. Um, like, hey, I really think it'd be good if you guys tried this. Um, she has a lot of management experience even before uh, her tenure, plus tenure here at Speed Factory so far. Uh, that was also very valuable to us because, again, we're, we're a bunch of guys. We're just doing our thing, but give us a list, we'll get it done. But other than that, what do you reasonably expect us to do? You know, well, if it wasn't for our partner sponsors, I mean, our shipping guys here next daying us things because they were back here still working during World Cup trying to keep things rolling for the business. And we're like, hey, you know, we need you to send this spare intercooler. We need, and they're like, all right, we'll get it. It'll be there tomorrow. So it's just it's just crazy um you know actually thinking back of what it really takes to be successful and yes the delays uh, in between really did help uh obviously kind of calm everything and make sure you can thoroughly check over but i mean yeah it's uh it was it was crazy <laughs> yeah so i mean ends up being very successful and yeah. now looking forward is there you know, heard from James and Kevin on what they think 2023 will be. You know, what do you, what would you like to see? What would I like to see in 2023? Well, of course, I would like to win again. Um, honestly, in 2023, I think it's it's safe to say, um, you know, we can definitely set lower ET goals. Uh, at this point, we just want to go with six, right? Um, so now we're going to have um, a goal. Um, I mean, depending on where we're at at that time next season, we'll have a, a very audacious goal. That's how we like to do it, you know? But as far as next year, honestly, we would like, um, you know, goes back to our preparation for the race, right? I mean, we start prepping in June for World Cup, which is in November. Um, so I would say us being prepared really helped us get through. This is the most we've ever been prepared and we still weren't 100% prepared, you know? It's like, if. You know, if you if you bring an umbrella, it's not going to rain. But we wanted to have all the umbrellas with us just in case, right? Spare motor, spare transmission, transfer cases, turbochargers, everything. But you know, there's still something that you forget. So uh, learning from those things that you know we had to have overnight here. Luckily, a vendor at the track had really want to make sure we go over. Hey, what did we have to get this year that we forgot last year? And just kind of make compile a better list of that. We are really looking forward to our outlaw car. You know, going up against. Uh, you know, Grannis Racing Supra um, up against, uh, you know, Grubworm, um, up against Red Demon. Um, unfortunately, none of those matches even got to happen. And at the end of the day, that's why we really do this, because we love racing. We love the competition. Um, so for us to not even get that opportunity uh, for various different unfortunate reasons on uh, those teams' behalfs, um, you know, it's just, it's kind of a bummer in a way, because you're like, oh man, we that's what we thrive on is the competition. And, and likewise for each of those people that I just spoke about. So, um, you know, I would hope that next year we have some really crazy matchups like that and, and that we really get to experience that. Wanted to, everybody there wanted to see that. Uh, the same, if not more than I did, you know? So it's just like, yeah. uh, in a way it's disappointing and, uh, and you know, you can't help but feel bad for them because you've been there, right? We've been there many times. So, uh, but yeah, I really hope that um, everybody, not only our team, you know, learns from everything and every, everything's more dialed next year for every all the teams there because that's what makes this event what it is. Yeah, it's, uh, it does suck, you know, when, when the other teams have a failure like that, especially when we're looking for, because at the end of the day, I mean, yeah, there's there's luck involved for almost every year for whoever won, right? I mean, it's, that's part it's of racing. Right, pretty much. <laughs> right, so 
that's why it was kind of interesting to set a goal to set a record but bring enough parts to go rounds um, pushing them at that level so that's like the biggest um, I guess balance you got to make is how hard do we want to push it we want to go rounds or do we want to break records but obviously the ideal solution would be to do both but yeah it's kind of hard with a B-series on 